Hi, good morning, friends. Now we'll be start a new uh, subheading that is uh, role of nutrition in maintaining health. And uh, in the previous classes, we have uh, seen some points regarding uh, first unit that is introduction. Among that, we have uh, discussed uh, three points: uh, definition, classification of food, and uh, historical uh, aspect of nutrition. And today we will start a new uh, subheading that is rule of nutrition in maintaining health. Okay, here two points we have to focus. First one is nutrition. We are well known about the definition of nutrition. Second point, health. Definition of health we have to discuss. Health means it is a complete state of physically, mentally, socially well-being, and uh, not merely absence of any disease or deformity. This is about the health definition. Health definition will be having three uh, area of physical, social, and mental area. These three areas, how the nutrition will be helping, helping and maintaining core of health. Those points will be come under the rule of nutrition in maintaining health. Okay. It will be food will be perform eight vital function to maintain our health. What are those mean? First one is the providing energy. Second one is the body building. Third one maintenance or repair. Fourth one social. Fifth one psychological function. Sixth one regulation of body process. Seventh one protective function. Eighth one mental development. These are the eight vital functions carried out by the food stuff within our body. We will be discuss one by one. First one is the providing energy. Yes, we are getting a lot of energy every day to perform activities. Whatever the food we are going to consuming, that is being in the form of chemical energy, in the form of carbohydrate, protein, and lipids. Those are chemical in nature. After ingestion and digestion and uh, distribution. Within the cell, our body is converting chemical energy to thermal energy in the form of ATP by utilizing cellular respiration process. Okay, and uh, among this, 20% of energy generated within our body is going to be utilized by brain, and remaining thing will be utilized by basal metabolic rate and the daily activity of living and what the work we are going to doing. Every step we are utilizing the developed energy. Okay, this is how how the food will providing energy. And second point, body building. Yes. Here, for performing the uh, intense activity, where muscle strength should be strong, and even the bone strength is also strong. Whatever the food we are going to consuming, that if they are, that is being rich with the protein, among that. Essential amino acids are there means those are good for the muscle building, and these essential amino acids are building block for the protein, and proteins are the building block for the muscles and skeletal system. Okay, and uh, within our body, majorly 20 amino acids are present. Among that, eight will be called as the essential. Five will be said as the essential means those amino acids are not synthesized within our body. That's why we should be take externally through the food sources, external food sources, and even though remaining 12 are non-essential because those amino acids are synthesized within our body by reorganization of chemical substances. Okay, this is about the how the proteins and amino acids should be helping for body building purposes, and third one. maintenance and repair of injuries in a daily activity we are facing a several number of laceration injuries cut but that lacerated wound and uh, injured wound cannot be being permanent because there is a process of wound healing a uh, wound healing process will be taken place by this wound healing process is also getting a help of food stuff means Good nutrient will be 
remove of the dead and injured cell and uh, develop a new healthy cell at the site of injury okay for this purpose we have to consume a protein rich food sir vitamin c uh, rich food sir which uh, which will be help of the collagen synthesis and blood coagulation is also taking place and even though iron content food stuff we have to consume and uh, selenium zinc and uh, antioxidant rich food stuff we have to consume to good repair the injured cells okay this is about how the food will be maintaining and repair the wounded cells and the fourth one social function food is also main, uh, performing some social function social activities means in, it is the interaction between the number of persons for example in case of fair and festivals and uh, birthday birthday and even the opening ceremonies of house home and opening inauguration ceremony of ceremony of colleges and uh, even the marriage ceremony those will be having a completeness by utilizing the food stuff or sharing of food stuff in that activities how the food is uh, helping me it will be increases the love and affection uh, acceptance of the individual and happiness of the individual regarding happiness uh, if you are looking for the any victories or birth of any babies male baby or female baby will be distributed as pedas and even though in uh, temples we are issuing a prasada in the form of food all those will be in the function for social activities okay and the uh, next one fifth one psychological activity psychological activity means it is related to behavioral things emotional attachment by exchanging the food stuff and serving the food stuff we will be develop a acceptance love and affection and uh, emotional bonding will be generated and um, it is uh, increase the attention of the individuals attention taking of individuals this is about how the psychological function carried out by food stuff and uh, sixth one regulation of body process with voluntary or involuntary within our body several functions are routinely conducting without any stop for example heart rate breathing respiration maintenance of body temperature and even the maintenance of blood ph level and uh, maintenance of uh, um, excretion of waste particles all those things will be coming under regulation of body process for the heart rate purpose we need a minerals like sodium and potassium and uh, for the body temperature maintenance we require water and uh, excretion of waste particle also we require electrolyte and water and uh, conducting of nervous system we require some uh, amino acids dopamine rich food stuff okay those things will become as a regulation of body process with the help of nutrition okay next seventh function protective functions protective means protecting our body from external injuries or external bacterial entries protective function carried out by mainly fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables are rich with the minerals and vitamins and uh, these protective food will be helping for the increase our immune response and immunity also by this those will be fight against the external uh, infectious organisms for example virus bacteria fungi if we are consuming healthy balanced diet our immune power will be increased and uh, there is no entry of the bacteria or microorganisms even though enter those microorganisms our immune power will be fight against the, those microorganisms and we will be be free from infectious process this is this is how the protective function carried out by food stuff last one mental development mental development uh, especially it will be take place in the more common in a second year or for example uh, in the age period of 2 uh, there is a more mental and central nervous system development 
and uh, during this time brain also require a nutrients like protein polypeptides amino acids and uh, <coughs> essential uh, fatty acids omega 3 fatty acids even the minerals like uh, iodine uh, requirement and uh, folic acid b complex which i mean requirement all those things will be helping for the proper development of brain and central nervous system along with intellectual development of individuals okay this is our mental development overall we look towards the rule of nutrition in maintaining health eight point first one is providing energy body building maintenance and repair social function psychological function regulation of body process protective function mental development by this we will be conclude the uh, class today class and uh, i think in um, further coming classes we will be see towards some points regarding nutritional problem in india which are the major nutritional problem in india by this will be complete today class thank you thank you so much